Well, here we are playing RimWorld. I saw this one as a Kickstarter and I instantly uh, backed it because the premise is so good. It's a really good idea for a game and I've wanted to do a, a Let's Play of this for a while but in, up till now there's not really been an end game so it just carried on forever until you, I, everybody got bored with it. So here we are. The three of you awake in your cryosleep sarcophagi to the sound of sirens and ripping metal. You barely get to the escape pods before the ship is torn apart. Sometime later you land on this unknown rim world. As pieces of the shredded starship fall around you, you start in making your plans to survive. Well, here we go. And here's our people. We have Grumpy. Good name. He's an inventor. And he was a, a cave world tender. And then he became an inventor as an adult. He has a photographic memory and he's a leper. But he enjoys growing, research, cooking and artistic. I'm not entirely certain if I'm happy letting a leper do the cooking, but there you go. And we have Jono. Jono is a biologist. She's, uh, he's 68, he uh, was a hive world child, then became a microbiologist. He's incapable of doing things that are scary. And he was a gunsmith and he's very careful. He likes building and medicine and is not bad with all the other things. And finally we have Tigris. Tigris is a herbalist. She's 28, she was a medieval slave and then became a herbalist. She's incapable of nothing but she's sexually inexperienced and gullible. She better watch out then. She likes growing and she likes medicine so that's good. We have a couple of healers in the group which is always a good sign. So here we are. This is the world that we've landed on. There's there's a nice starting spot there by the looks of it. Here will be nice, well defended, easy to play. There's no power generation, which is a slight problem, but I think we can live with that. Or we could possibly come down here because there's a hydrothermal vent there, and we can uh, get a lot of easy power from that at the start of the game. Lots of bits and pieces scattered all around. Yes. I think we'll go here. So let's, let's start up a few um, few bits and pieces. First of all, we actually do need somebody to mine around there. So let's set the mining up. Just clear a bit of space around there and then we can put in um, the power generation there and just to get us going let's stick some sleeping spots in here and while that's being done we're going to want to uh, store various bits and pieces so let's uh, create a, um, a stockpile the stockpile can go the stockpile can go here for now we're not going to want to use this land for anything so there we go nice big stockpile and we will put in there all, right, all food can go in there all items can go in there, all weapons can go in there, all apparel can go in there. We don't want to store chunks yet, and I don't think we want humanoid corpses, but let's store animal corpses for butchering later on. So that's that. And just outside the colony here, are we going to actually how are we going to do this I think what we need to do is we need to create an entrance here okay so actually here would be better because the generator there so we'll have a nice defended entrance here build in here and then we can build up and build our our houses and whatever in this area here so if we put let's put a, um, the dump here for now it's uh, actually here is a good place we'll put the dump in here and then it's out of the way. So zones, dumping stockpile, and we'll just get a bit of space there. And in there, we will store. Sorry about the noise outside. We will store chunks, corpses, but not animal corpses. There you go. And when we start getting some human corpses, we'll decide what to do with them there. So that's out of sight and out of mind. Now what I need to do quickly is just have a quick run through this map and allow the colonists to pick up a lot of the resources so there's that 
What else do we have down here? We have some metal there. So let's grab that. Yep. Okay. And this side. Um, well, I'll do that one in a minute when they move out of the way because it's there. Otherwise, it's you can just do this. Allow the lat. And allow all that. And is there any down here? Um, allow all that. Do sorry about the noise. It, hopefully, it will go away soon. Otherwise, I shall close the window and fry. There we go. Right. Let's let them start working. Oh, one more thing to do. Very important this one. Let's work out what they're doing. So, let's put on these priorities. Yeah, okay. So, we will just make a note of these quickly. This is stuff that they like doing. They all seem to like growing, which is great, but we don't want them all growing just yet. There's other work to do, so just put those to three. And then everything else can go in as four. So if nothing else happen, uh, happens, they will pick one of these jobs and do them instead. So there we go, that's that filled out. That way they're always working. If you notice that Jono can't do firefighting, but everyone can pretty much do everything else. So right, firefighting. Always, if there's fires, that's what people need to do first. Likewise, these guys, they like doctoring, they can be doctors. And this guy is our warden. Excellent. So, Tigress, you can do the cooking. So, we'll give that a two. Basically, that is your highest priority when you're not doing everything else. And construction, repairing, growing can stay threes. In fact, you know what? Everything else there can stay a three. That's fine. So, Grumpy, you are our inventor. Uh, you are our grower, rather, and um, yes, if nothing is growing, concentrate on the crafting. That's excellent. And um, Jono, you are a biologist. You can actually, I tell you what, you be the miner, you be the grower, and you concentrate on the researching. There we go. So there's nothing's researching, and we have a uh, uh, if, if nothing is growing, rather and we have a researching desk, you can do that. So there we go. And that's everybody's job sorted out within the colony. And we have other areas. We have um, a, a town called the Sun's Tree and a town called Village of the Crag, both of whom seem to like us a little bit, which is good. There's a couple of tribes, neither of whom like us, and these guys really don't like us. And a pirate band called the Grey Sledgehammers, and they're never going to like us, so that's okay. Statistics and history, we haven't had enough of either to really care about it. So let's get this game going yet. Right, now they're out of the way. We can do this. And just make sure that's all allowed and people can pick it up. So now people will run around and do the job. So the first thing we really want to do here is get some of the resources into the base. So I'm going to let those guys do that for a little bit and then what I'll do is I will create a um, a growing zone. Oh yes I forgot about the mining but still that's a good one to get done anyway. There we go. There we go. They're all grabbing stuff and putting it onto the stockpile. As it goes onto the stockpile you see it comes up in the corner here and because it comes up in the corner here we know it's there for us to use it. So that's a good start. So it's just there you go. They're them running around for a little bit. So we got uh, they're bringing in meals first. That's good. So we got five meals that'll keep us going for a little bit. Let's just lay out a growing area. So we want a growing zone. And if we just put a couple in at the start, then um, we will get a couple of different types of foods, which will help us out later on. So we'll have that block there. And we'll have that block there. And this one, they can grow strawberries. And later on, what we'll do is we will put in a, a forest somewhere as well. Now, let's just get some of this junk out of the way. Orders things let's get those rocks out of the way so we can grow there and 
and let's ask somebody to cut those down so that we can plant potatoes there. Next step, uh, we might as well do it now. Let's power. Let's lay out that geothermal generator. No, nope, we don't have enough metal yet, so we'll let that run for a wee bit. Okay. So we'll just leave that overnight and see where we're coming from there. This is not a bad place if you look. There's plenty of metal to mine. Plenty of space to plant trees. In fact, this area here is not really going to be that usable by us. So we could pretty much use that as a forested area. The problem is, of course, we'd have to put an entrance in there somewhere and we can't build a wall to the side. So perhaps that's not a, bad, a good idea. We could do it here, mind. But still, they're up. They've had their breakfast. They've laid out the plants already, which is is brilliant. Um, the problem is we've got all these little guys floating around, so while I'm thinking about it, let's ask them to hunt all the little fuzzy wuzzies in the area. There we go. Have we got any more down here? Yes, we do. Okay, let's just keep the keep the numbers down a little bit. Unfortunately, some of them are boom rats which is not a good thing because they start fires which reminds me one last thing zone add home region yes I thought that was going to be a um, a bit small so the home region is the area where they will fight fires so as you can imagine it's important to get that in place Uh, just fill in that corner but let's take away that corner because I don't want them running around all the way around here just yet to fight a fire there which we don't care about so there we go that's it back running they're having a little nap uh, who's who's our hunter nobody's really hunting at the moment but Jonah at least if not growing will probably pick hunting next so that's all right Oh yes, weapons. That's the point. Did we drop any weapons? Yes, we dropped some weapons. So we don't need to arm them just yet, but let's actually allow them to pick them up. So we've got two pistols and a Lee Enfield rifle. I doubt if the colonists are going to need those to beat up some squirrels, but they will need them soon, and it will be good to have them down here when they do. So there we go. There's Jono fighting a boom rap. Good place to fight the boom rap. Wonderful place. Oh no, Jono, what have you done? What have you done? <laughs> oh dear. One too many boom rats to the face, eh? Where's your friends? Where are your fellow survivors? They've got to be on the map somewhere. Grumpy, where are you? There you are, Grumpy. I couldn't see you for looking. There you go, Tiger. Sure, you've been closer. You rescue Jono. Rather unfortunate. Come on, get to her, she's dying. There we go. Are you guys going to put out that fire? Yes, you are. Excellent. Well done, you guys. Poor Jono. One too many boom rats to the face, but he'll survive. He'll survive. Last thing we want, though, is these little guys running around eating our food. But I think to be on the safe side... Let's cancel the hit order on this boom rat. There we go. Have you got any others? Yep, yeah, that one there. There we go. Mm, boom rat to the face. Not good. Not good at all. Okay, so these guys are still running around, but we've got some of the important stuff done here already. We have 
our, our, our garden growing so we have food coming hopefully let's get the power in place because we've got enough metal now so geothermal generator there we go and giving that that's there that gives us an incentive to build around this area really doesn't it so that's good right let's let them have their little nap and we'll pick this up in the morning Oh, something's happened. A group from the Sun's Tree are visiting the colony, and Jono's no longer incapacitated. Hello, Guts and Croco. Welcome to the area. Oh, look, look, they say they're planting things. Oh, that's interesting. Ah, good, they found some of the weapons. Actually, who's a good shot? Jono, what do you like as a a shot? Um, shooting six, not bad. Tigress, what about you? Um, shooting three, no, not you. How about you, Grumpy? Do you live up to your name? Shooting zero. I don't think you are the one getting the Liam field, but Jono, for now, just in case you get another. Boom rat to the face. Why don't you pick this one up? This must be a fascinating conversation. Oh, look, look, this person here lying on the ground asleep. Isn't it quaint? Yeah. I get the impression Jono's enjoying himself. Boom rat, go boom. There, that's much better. So, right, now we have... Oh, those plants are growing nicely, that's good. We have a little bit of resources in place. I think it's time to start thinking about some structures. And what I'm thinking here is that we'll have this as a courtyardy area. And the living areas, to start off, will be down here. And... As we develop, we'll build in up here and we'll build more protected, more secure stuff up here because we're going to have invaders, we're going to have people with mortar guns all the way over the other side of the map here shelling us. Lots and lots of fun things. So the important thing is to make sure that certain bits and pieces are kept carefully. A starship janitor from Village of the Crag is visiting, visiting the colony. Okay, welcome aboard. You're more than welcome to come and have a look at our plants and our sleeping area. So, what should we have? I think to start off with, if we just wall off here and here, say, now it does force guys to go around here, but once they've done the initial collecting, that won't be such of a problem. And then we can build some of our colony buildings in here. And that will do to start off with, I think. So, let's start building. Oh. Everyone knows that you don't want to stay in this rock for long, but Grumpy is suggesting you give the colony a name anyway. What should it be called? In the... In memory of our, our most famous residents, let's call it Grumpyville. Okay, now, let's build some structure. So we have a little bit of wood, so let's use that for doors, say. So we put a, a door there, door there, and we will put the, use the metal. Somebody couldn't wait to be uh, building stuff. We'll put the metal there as a wall, and we'll put the metal there as a wall. That defines just a nice big blocky area for us, and we can start filling this out as we like it. I mean, one particular thing we need to do is perhaps let's wall there and there. Yeah, that'll do. And we'll stick a door in there. Okay, so this will be our, uh, to start with our living area once it's done. And this there will be a more utility area. One thing we do need to do though is connect the power up to the walls. So 
we we'll stick a power conduit in there and we'll probably need to stick a few power conduits in here until we connect these walls up so let's let them sleep and they'll finish that off in the morning and Grunt looks like Grumpy's already doing the first harvest so that takes a bit of the pressure of food off which is good but with that in mind I think what we will do is we will take the food off of this stockpile um, animal corpses and foods we'll take those off and we will build ourselves why did I pause that? We will build ourselves a new zone. So this is a stockpile zone. This is where we will keep the food. And it can go, set say, here for now. Okay, so this area will have... I uh, don't want that. I want this. This area will contain foods. And it will contain... Um, animal corpses so all the food raw produced and the corpses to make it will just dump here for now and then they're safe from the boon rats and whatever looks like this room is a little bit too big so we are going to need to actually there's no harm in that whatsoever let's split this across here and so structure sticking another door um, what should we do? Let's have a door there and a door there for now, let's say, and we'll stick in a metal wall. And that will breach that. That will give us a complete wall, and then we're going to have to start thinking about putting some lighting in here, getting some furniture in here. But what I want to do now, just last before we finish, is seeing as we now have a, a an area which is not open to the environment let's get rid of these sleeping spots outdoors there we go one two and sorry grumpy but you are gonna have to wake up a little bit okay i think that's all for an episode we haven't done too bad starting off we've got plenty of food we've got a nice little chunk of resources to be starting off with we've got an area that looks like it's going to be nice and defendable and that's not bad for a go so i'm going to call this an episode I'll be putting one of these up a week. I hope you enjoyed it. Please like and subscribe if you have. I've been Simon Parsons, and this has been RimWorld. Good night.